we're going this way, guys. Can we go through the office? We're gonna walk down to acquisitions. Here's Aubrey Tab. Yeah, Aubrey, how are you doing? I'm good, Trey. Right. How are you? Right. Good, thanks. We're going down to acquisitions. In my day to day operations. I heard that uh, Alex Carbajal has some new I'm sure some people arrivals. I talked last, so that's all right. Yes. So we're gonna go check those out. I don't know what he's got in store for us, but when he calls, or when anybody in acquisitions calls, let's go this way. Carver Chung, ladies and gentlemen. Now, oh, here's on card autographs going out. You're fine. You want to talk about on card and what it takes to get on card autographs? Here's one good look. Who's are these? Cal Rudolph, limited. I think we have a couple different programs. Can't tell who this is. But you see there, oh, it's AJ Green. Hello. Let's play some patches going out. Get some limited going out. If you go over here, we have some contenders going out. There's the base contenders. Design this year. Sign here. And the Rookie Ink Parallels. Great design on those. But all these are about to be boxed up and shipped out to their respective players and their representatives for the signings. And these are just two or three programs are worth, depending on the player. There's some, looks like some gold standard that Still needs to go out, perhaps. Daniel Thomas. So anyway, that's one part of the acquisitions process, but that's not why we brought you over here. We brought you over here because Alex Carbajal called and said he's got cool stuff to show. So we're gonna put him to the test. Hey, look, it's Joe White. Hey, Joe. How you doing there? What you working on right now? Uh, working on eating a sandwich. Okay, it's, uh, is that a new linebacker that's <laughs> going to be in product? <laughs> uh, no. Actually, I'm working on a deal with Subway. Late lunch today. Yeah, I had to work through lunch working on all these, these wonderful on-card autographs. Well, the collectors thank you for it. I know I certainly do. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks for uh, coming on the show. Thank you. All right. Thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Thanks. Look, guys, it's Alex Carvajal. Hey, Alex. Hey, Tracy, I really don't. Hey! Uh, oh, hey, buddy. No, we're just here. You, you called me over and said that you had these, you had something that you wanted to show me. And uh, I know the hockey collectors are excited. And anytime Alex Carvajal calls my phone, I'm excited. So you want to take a minute to kind of talk about w what you have? No. Okay. Um, you, can, can I guess? No. Uh, Thanks for your time, Tracy. All right. Uh, well, that, that's all from acquisitions. Thanks, guys. Oh. Okay, guys. I'm. I gotta be quiet because I'm behind the scenes in the memorabilia room, the vault as we call it. I don't want security to, to find me and escort me from the premises permanently. Although I'm sure some people might not have a problem with that. But anyway, here's like the section where all of our game-worn hockey sweaters go. And around the corner here we have the hockey sticks. Game used, obviously. And, oh, hey Alex. I didn't know you were back here. Hey Tracy, what's oh, going on? What are you up to, man? Uh, I just got a new arrival of jerseys today, so I'm actually uh, just sorting through them, see Goodness. if there's any special patches, anything that we need to be aware of, and uh, gonna identify them and log them into our system. You said a few, I see like, uh, <laughs> that's like two teams it looks like. Well, let me let me show you what's, what we got in. Awesome. I like this. Uh, you probably recognize some of these jerseys. Okay. 
We got a whole set of the uh, oh, wow. Ducks and Kings Ancient Premiere that were held held overseas this year Very to nice. begin the season. So okay. we got a whole set. Um, we got the Kings, the Ducks, the Rangers, and the Sabres. Wow. So uh, these jerseys will go into product. The patches will go probably into our high end. Maybe we'll, we'll create a special subset or insert for them. I don't know. There's we'll let the product guys decide that. Lots of prime opportunities there. Yeah, definitely. So. Now you said you'll let the product guys figure it out, but you're you're part of the acquisitions team. Yeah. And without you, the the product guys don't have nearly as much content. Would you say that? Well, I mean, I, they're the ones that give me their wish list, and I'm the one that has to go find it for them. And hopefully, most of the time, I find it for them. Uh, so. The guys wanted to make a whole set with the Premier Games, mm -hmm. starting up from Europe. So they asked if I could, you know, go out and get these jerseys. So with the help of uh, some connections yes. internally, we were able to get a whole set. Connections internally, you say? That looks nice. Well, uh, Tracy Hackler helped me out. Well, it's, I think one. it's a, it was a marketing initiative, but I mean, those, and these are going to be game dated, obviously. I mean, we can trace these specific sweaters to the game they were played in yes which is yes. very cool now one thing that people can't see through the camera Oof. that i was going to ask you <laughs> describe the smell and maybe where the smell of these two racks ranks with some of the stuff you've smelled in the past well usually when we buy game used jerseys there is some aroma to them <laughs> uh, these are extra stinky i would mm. say definitely exciting jerseys in here absolutely here's a henrik lundquist very nice oh i also got what i want to show you you're full of surprises today yeah along with these jerseys uh -huh. i got uh you know king's ducks they're hard to find uh but a team that's also hard to to acquire sometimes detroit red wings okay so i was fortunate enough to also get these in today. oh wow and got some beautiful look at that just red iconic Wing jerseys red wings logo if you don't know who the a oh. stands for it's henrik zetterberg. zetterberg nice uh we have the captain himself lidstrom and some of these jerseys are playoff use and game worn wow so i don't know if we'll identify it on the card but uh here's a datsuk jersey now, before we let you go, is there one item that you've ever been been a part of the acquisition process that stands out as your favorite or most unique or spectacular or one item? Yeah, it's it's tough to say because every time you get in a, a shipment of something, you always get surprised. Like today, opening the box of Red Wing stuff was yeah. great to see. I mean, the Premier Games, you know, it's it's really tough to pinpoint to one thing. You know, some of the sticks that we get sometimes from auctions from some of the retired players, uh, you know, a Lemieux stick or or a Marc Messier stick or Marc Messier jersey. I mean, that's classics like that. That's You always love to acquire something like that. To see some of the usage is just mind-boggling to kind of think back when you were a kid and all the great memories. So I, I would probably say anything from Lemieux or Messier. That's always fun to see. You know the one classic thing I would want to acquire, Alex? The Alex Carvajal rookie card. Ah! It exists, people. Go look for it. Alex, thank you for the time today. Thank you, Tracy. And I hope I don't get an escort out of here. It looks like I'm I'm being... Yeah, that's going to happen, gotta, right? I, I got to go. See you later. Thanks. Oh,